what's up what's up guys this is sultan uh, welcome to my channel i appreciate all of you comments feedback all appreciated so today i went downtown um, as you guys all know i am in new york city this is the typical sun of the soil because i believe one day we will all return back to our mother earth and that's why i said i am the typical son of the soil so today um i am in the city as manhattan it used to be known as it's called manhattan but now mostly people call it new york new york as the same name um but today i wanted to introduce you to one of america's most famous reputable but very expensive grocery store it's mostly um available in most part of the city i don't think there's one in the bronx um if you live in the bronx you can let me know i don't think there's a whole food um grocery store in the bronx um but before i introduce you guys to um whole foods whole food was first established in texas austin texas <laughs> pardon my pronunciation it was bought by jeff bezos who owns amazon for i believe 13.7 billion dollars so can you imagine amazon bought it for 13.77 billion now its net worth is more than that like because it's very famous and it's not just famous it's pricey everything that they sell over there it's very expensive fruits vegetables dairy products smoothie products um you can find most of the things that you would find in every grocery store but it would be more expensive and pricey compared to what you would buy in other um, cities or more remote areas and this area is called greenwich and i would show you guys so this area of uh, new york new york it's called greenwich mostly known as tribeca this is greenwich street but the neighborhood is called tribeca very expensive neighborhood as you can see it's also close to the world trade center i will show you guys the world trade center later on but cost of living here is very high rent here is high and voila this is the entrance of whole food market like i said you'll find it in most part of manhattan if you live in manhattan you can tell me if i'm lying or not wherever you live is there a whole food uh, market in your area and those that live in london is there a whole food market there and as you can see as i've been standing here you can see people walk by and go inside the store um, and they shop most all right so guys we are currently in whole food market as you guys can see on display there's some carrots vegetables we are in the fruit and vegetable section as i told you guys whole food is owned by jeff bezos so we have some potatoes and some onions i'm curious how much does this onion cost so yellow onion for one dollar 39 cents per onion and some tomatoes people are shopping so you pick a bag and then you put whatever you have inside and then you go to the cashier when you're ready this cauliflower how much does the cauliflower cost four dollars and 99 cents organic cauliflower cheap or expensive what do you guys think a cauliflower for five dollars that's man that's expensive i think and now we are in banana mango pineapple section so one thing i noticed in whole food market is for the banana they have organic ones and the organic ones i believe were grown without fertilizers 59 cents per pound for a banana and pineapple look this one is not ripe but the rest are ripe how much does one pineapple cost guess guys before the price is shown let's see how much does the pineapple cost i'm curious i really want to know 
So one pineapple cost three dollars ninety nine cents. Four dollars, cheap or expensive. And wherever you live, do you have a whole food market in your neighborhood? Are the prices here the same as the prices there, or expensive? And potatoes. This potatoes looks nice. I'm not a fan of potatoes though. People used to do mashed potato, but I'm not a fan of mashed potato. Anyway, how much does the mango cost? This I see is a honeydew melon. Mango. Let's see the price. Voila, two dollars for one mango. Damn, I forgot this would even cost a cent. That's expensive. So a honeydew melon. How much does it cost? We don't have a honeydew melon in Africa. I never knew it until I came here. And that's a cantaloupe. Also, we don't have that in Africa. But let's see the price. So a cantaloupe cost $4 per cantaloupe. And $5 for a honeydew melon. Cheap or expensive? What do you guys think? Now let's go to the orange aisle. How much does this small oranges cost? Guess the price. Some of them don't even taste good. Two dollars forty nine cents. Wow. For one or oh, pay pound. Okay, for pay pound. Two dollars forty nine cents per pound. For the orange. So you pick a bag, like I said, and then you put whatever you bought inside and then you go to the cashier and check out. They have avocados on this aisle. These avocados look different from the ones that we have in Africa. But two for five dollars and thirty eight cents for the avocado. Cheap or expensive? What do you guys think? And there are people shopping, as you can see. This neighborhood is very expensive neighborhood. People here, I think middle income class. But they still have money because the prices of these things are expensive. This is a uh, uh, potatoes. What kind of potato is this? Let's see. Organic Japanese sweet potato. $2.49. Wow. Pay pound. Pay pound. $2.49 per pound. Now, pie apples. How much does an apple cost? Let's see. Wow, one ninety nine, one ninety nine. Expensive or cheap? That's two dollars for one apple. Two dollars. Ouch. Two dollars. Now let's go to the shrimp section. How much does the shrimp cost per pound? I do like shrimp though, especially shrimp stew. Shrimp stew. Eighteen dollars twenty nine cents per pound for this shrimp. Eighteen dollars and twenty nine cents, and this one is twenty dollars forty nine cents for jumbo shrimp. Do you guys do you like shrimp? I love shrimps. Some people are allergic to shrimp, so now salmon. How much does this cut salmon cost? Seems like thirteen dollars seventy nine cents. Expensive or cheap? Put down your comments, guys. Let me know. Is it worth it? By the time you even pick three salmons, you're already in $50. Man. You know, the thing is that for the poor man, if you don't have money, he says it's expensive. But the moment you have money, <laughs> these things will not be expensive to you anymore. I think this aisle looks like vitamins, smoothie ingredients. I see whey protein. How much does it cost? How much does the whey... Sixty dollars for the whey protein. Wow, man, that's expensive though. It's really expensive for smoothie. I mean, if you can afford it, I think it's okay. Like I said, most of the time we poor people, <laughs> when we can't afford something, we say it's expensive. Um, but the moment you have the money, it wouldn't be expensive anymore. Now let's see how much does the almond cost. This type of almond cost four dollars ninety nine cents. Five dollars. 
But why do they do it four ninety nine instead of just put five dollars over there? I hate when I see four ninety nine, two ninety nine. Just put three dollars. Yeah. So we are in Whole Food Market pistachio. Eight dollars twenty nine cents for the pistachio, a bag of pistachio. Sometimes I put pistachio when I make smoothie. I blend it with the almond and fruits. Sometimes I will put kale inside as well. But I don't like it with milk. Mostly just water. No sugar. Oil. I like to cook with olive oil. But olive oil has low boiling temperature. So most of the time I would just steam the food. And when it's cooked I will add a little bit of olive oil. Especially when I'm cooking jollof rice. Dairy section. We're going to the dairy section. Let's see. How much does a gallon of milk cost? Or a gallon of orange juice? So organic orange juice. This cost $8.49. What do you guys think? Cheap or expensive? This orange juice. And this one. Let's see. A, this gallon of orange juice costs seven dollars and ninety nine cents. See, this is what I hate. Instead of writing eight dollars, you write seven dollars ninety nine cents. Now let's go to milk. How much does dairy milk cost? And most of the time, I will buy lactose free milk because if I take the one that's not lactose free, my stomach bloats a lot. So I don't like to drink the one that's not lactose free. So I would buy lactate with and then I can have it with cereal or make tea. But like I say guys, we're in Whole Food Market owned by Jeff Bezos. This is the one I normally buy. You see, whole milk, lactose free. For my cereal. You know when I used to live in Bronx, I never saw Whole Food Market in the Bronx. But when I moved to Manhattan, there are many of them. So there's no whole food market in the Bronx. I don't know why. Maybe because things are expensive and they think people cannot afford to buy them. Um, but let's go to another aisle and see prices of whatever is available over there. I see this is what sushi. Fresh sushi rolled daily. How much does this sushi cost? Sushi lovers, tell me, what do you think? Let's see, prices of sushi. I'm not really a fan of sushi though. But this this one looks yummy. How much? How much? How much? $17.49 for this sushi. Sushi lovers, tell me, worth it? Cheap or expensive? Let's see another one. You know, I love shrimp, so I want to see the one with shrimp. Come on, show me one with shrimp. Shrimp. Yay! This is one with shrimp. Um, As long as it doesn't have alcohol, I think I would like it. But how much? What is the price, though? I want to really know. The one with shrimp. Anyway, let's move on. So, guys, what do you think? Tell me. Um, wherever you live, if you live in London, uh, America, do you have Whole Food? And the prices that you've seen, are they the same or compared to whatever avail is available there? And this, I, I think they have food. I saw mac and cheese, something like fried rice. Hold up, is this jollof or is it just yellow, yellow or colored rice? It looks like jollof, but it, I don't think it's jollof rice. Is, is that much potato? Well, this is not my type, though. So, what do you guys think so far about the prices that we've seen? You know, the fruit and vegetables section, the dairy section, um, the sushi side. Bread. Let's see the prices of the bread. How much does this bread cost? $6.39. Cheap or expensive? What do you guys think? It looks nice though. This one cost how much? $8.49. What do you guys think that the price is affordable or expensive? 
here they have chicken tenders. Eleven dollars in the ninety-nine cents for chicken tenders. I think they're for Look at this salmon. Twenty-five dollars. Oh, that's expensive. So a quick question for the salmon, right? I say it's twenty-five dollars. Is it like a each or just no, 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 that's per pound. Oh, per pound, twenty-five dollars per pound. Okay, right. If it weighs, if, uh, I think three pieces weigh about one pound. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. So you heard him. He said, so this salmon is twenty-five dollars per pound, and three pieces weigh one pound. So you probably. So guys, and uh, they also have a uh, pizza here. Some of this food is frozen. You know, frozen food. Yeah. I like food that is fresh, freshly cooked. Because you know in Africa, we were raised um, around parents that cook very often, you know? They, every day they would cook, go to the market, buy ingredients and cook for us. How much does egg cost? The organic egg. And here they have seasoning. Yeah. Let's go to the meat section. And then we will wrap up our filming of whole food. No, Not yet, thank you. So look at this barbecue we made. Chicken, crabbles, vegetables. Nine dollars per pound. Head red meat is not good, it gives uh, colorectal cancer. So, if you eat too much, <laughs> you get colon cancer. Colon cancer. So, colon cancer screening starts at age 40. So, once you turn, age, once you turn 40 years, your primary doctor will recommend you to go for a colon cancer screening or prostate cancer. For colon cancer, they use colonoscopies because once they detect a, a polyp, they can resect it right away. So guys, I'm gonna wrap up um, here. Okay.